Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today I am hanging out at Disneyland for the evening to have some fun. So how about you and I dive right in. Made it through security and into the Esplanade. It's another nice late afternoon here at the Disneyland Resort. I'm gonna head into Disneyland, maybe go into DCA a little bit later. Friend Jen is gonna be joining me in just a moment as well. Yeah, it's just gonna be a nice little fun afternoon slash evening. Give you a few updates and just go with the flow. The Magic Bands will be making their way to the Disneyland Resort soon, and I wonder what they're gonna do to the turnstiles here. Yeah, I'm wondering if they're gonna remove some of these in uh, favor of the podiums like we see in Orlando, or if they'll keep some of these and have podiums and just deal with both. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what they do over the next few weeks and months as they start rolling out the Magic Bands. Golden Hour looking good over here at the Rivers of America, and it looks like they're working on some Phantasmic infrastructure. They usually do this during the week, as the show plays during the weekends only right now, probably up until the holidays, when the holidays kick in here at Disneyland, that's probably when the show will be every day. But for the time being, they'll use the downtime to work on the infrastructure, all the fountains and all that kind of fun stuff that lives beneath the water. But I've made it over here to New Orleans Square because I haven't been here since they've opened up Eudora's Chic Boutique. So let's head inside to check it out. Everyone loves your cooking. Oh, they do, don't they, Mama? It's like your daddy said. Oh, that's kind of cool how they have like little sound effects throughout the shop. It's total New Orleans in here as well. The music is fantastic. I love all of the Mardi Gras stuff up here. Oh, look at this. They have the Cafe du Monde uh, beignet mix. I've actually been to this location in Louisiana and yeah, they use the same mix here at Disneyland to create the beignets. It's awesome. I believe this is coffee though. I don't know if this is, uh, yeah, it's coffee but they do probably sell the, uh, the beignet mix somewhere in here. They got some praline mix. That sounds really good. How much is this? This is a mystery. It's a, it's a dollar, sure. <laughs> oh, look at this one. We got some Bayou Love Potion, AKA hot sauce. Love it. I mean, they definitely packed this shop full of art and props. It really is cool. We got some ears over here. It's nice. Yeah, it's a really uh, beautiful addition to New Orleans Square, I gotta say. Yeah, and if you're not sure where it is, it's right on Royal Street, right outside of the Blue Bayou. We're gonna continue to see a very strong presence of Tiana very, very soon, especially since Splash Mountain will be closing soon. We do not have a closing date just yet, but they are working on it, and I will keep you all up to date once they announce that. And another question I've been asking is, will they change the Hungry Bear restaurant to a Tiana's Place quick service? I think that would be a good idea, honestly. It'd be nice to get something a little bit more um, unique back here. Taking a stroll through Galaxy's Edge at sunset, and look at how gorgeous the entryway to the marketplace looks. I love the shadows coming off of the trees there. It really is a massive piece of art, and I just adore it. Look at this, as I'm strolling through Galaxy's Edge, I've found one of these bounty hunter things. This must be for the uh, Magic Band experience. Let's go to the garage, actually, and check up on that to see the progress. Yeah, it looks like walls are still around that Magic Band experience that they are installing here at Galaxy's Edge, so I'll keep an eye on it every single week. Should be uh, wrapping up here very, very soon though. I wouldn't suspect that this is gonna take a long time to install. To be fair though, we have no idea when the Magic Bands will be debuting here at the Disneyland Resort. The Mighty Mighty Matterhorn is still down for refurbishment. Opens up October 14th, so not too far off. Gonna work my way out of Disneyland and into downtown Disney because I haven't eaten anything all day and I am hungry. And I'm gonna go to one of my favorite like quick places to grab something small on the go and that's going to be Napolini, a little pizza place that's right next to Naples. So good. It's actually the same company. They just sell the build your own on the go pizzas there. As I'm working my way out here, look at how busy it is. It is a very busy day today at Disneyland. It is a Wednesday at the time of filming this and it's kind of crazy to me that every day is busy at Disneyland except for like Saturday. Saturday seems to be the very slow day. Yeah, even the other side over at DCA, super packed on that end too. I'm really looking forward to when the Earl of Sandwich like walk up 
window is gonna be open. Cannot wait, because Earl of Sandwich was always such a good go-to. Alrighty, meal obtained. I got a pizza and a little pasta salad, and I came over here to the Grand Californian to find a nice little quiet spot to enjoy. All right, I found a nice comfy seat in this beautiful lobby. I'm enjoying the Disney music on the piano. And of course, we got Oogie Boogie over there in the distance. It sure is lovely in here. All right, I finished up with my meal. And you know what? I kind of want to go upstairs to check out the other levels. I think I've only been up here once and I don't remember because it's been so long, but I always love exploring the Disney hotels. I love doing it in Florida as well. So yeah, this is, uh, is kind of nice. Let's keep going here. I've never stayed at the Grand Californian. I've always wanted to at least one time. I've stayed at the Disneyland Hotel and I haven't stayed at the, uh, the Paradise Pier Hotel. Now it's called the Pixar Place Hotel, but uh, I, I kind of want to do one night here one of these days. Oh yeah, look at this view. Isn't this gorgeous? It really is a beautiful hotel. One of my favorite lobbies, and I've seen a lot of Disney hotels. One, because uh, Florida has like 80,000 of them, so being able to explore a lot of the hotels in Florida is always fun, but I do love the lobby here. We have a very grand lobby here in the Grand Californian. Even though this one is beautiful, I think some of my other favorite lobbies are the Animal Kingdom Lodge out in Florida and the Grand Floridian. That one is very gorgeous as well. And that's another restaurant I gotta do very, very soon is Napa Rose. It's the one like fancy place that I have yet to eat at at the Disneyland Resort. I've done Carthay Circle, I've done Blue Bayou, and I've done Club 33 a couple times. I still haven't done this one. And I, yeah, I gotta put this on the list and do Napa Rose one of these days. But just like that, I've made it into DCA. Let's take a stroll around the park and see what's going on in here. Over here at Grizzly River Run, the fog is hanging pretty low, which makes this setting even cooler in the evening. I think it's because of the humidity here in SoCal right now. We're getting like this, these weird on and off humid uh, evenings. That's probably why the fog is kind of like laying low. We've made it to the pier and everyone's getting ready for World of Color right now. I haven't seen that in a while. I'm gonna continue my journey around the pier. Yeah, it is busy, my goodness. I see a few folks have secured their spots underneath Silly Symphony Swings, which is actually a pretty unique spot for World of Color. Like I've said many times before, they have speakers underneath that awning right there and they have benches for you to sit and enjoy. It's a side view of the show, so you don't really get the projection aspect of it, but you still get the uh, beauty of all of the water. Oh, here comes the Incredicoaster. Last few rides before they close it. Working my way into Cars Land, and this is very interesting. They do not have the Halloween lighting on this evening. I wonder why, that is kind of weird. I mean, the regular lighting is just as beautiful, but I mean, it's the spooky season. Come on, where are the scary lights? Yeah, see, then they have all the other Halloween stuff turned on for the evening. So yeah, I wonder why the mountain range isn't uh, turned on. And then over here at Guardians of the Galaxy, they have all the lasers on this evening. So yeah, it seems like Cars Land is the only one that doesn't really have its uh, special lighting for Halloween time. Let's see if I can catch some of the uh, lasers. Okay, there you go, there's some red. We should get some other sequins here. Oh, there it is right there. Isn't that cool? I think it's so neat. And on my way out of DCA, look at this. They're making the churro toffee that looks so yummy. Looks like some cast members are making some more goodies off in the distance there. But I actually never had the churro toffee. It's and really good. It's really good, yeah. By the way, Jen is here. Hello. What are these over here? These are like cake pops. Cake, cake pops. Yeah. She got that here, like Oogie Boogie it looks Rice like, Krispies. Yeah, it looks like Rice Krispie treats. Yeah, those are cute. But yeah, maybe I'll have to get the churro toffee a little bit later. Made it back on Main Street, and I think we're gonna get another little tasty treat. So I haven't had dessert yet, and Jen hasn't even had dinner yet, so I think that's what we're gonna be doing. But also, uh, we were just talking about, they're, they're doing the projection show here in just a couple minutes, and Jen and I were just wondering, since it's so busy like this, why not just do fireworks? Like, you know, it's gonna be busy during the week, so why not give people a fireworks show? I don't, I don't understand that. I mean, I get why they're doing it. They wanna save money, but it's like, come on. They're clearly, they're clearly, I know, I'm, I'm upset too. That person was so upset. Did you hear him screaming? Jen picked up a salad at uh, Royal Street and got cups of water, but I wanted to make a pit stop in here because I never noticed this before. I'm sure they set this up all the time, but, uh, yeah, no, this is awesome. It's like a little Jack Skellington uh, Nightmare Before Christmas 
area, a little photo op area. This is so cool. All right, I think we got bamboozled on the steak salad because on the Disneyland app, it says it is a uh, grilled, like, steak. grilled steak. But uh, I think we got roast beef. Roast beef lunch meat. I think you got bamboozled there. Yeah. <laughs> that is, yeah. you got bamboozled. Yeah, that is roast beef. That's 100% roast beef. Alrighty, we're here at the French market in line for beignets. It wraps around the perimeter of the French market. Somewhat moving, we've come to a halt right now, but I'm going to try the pumpkin spice beignets. I have yet to try them this season, and uh, I figure now it's the perfect time to do so. Alrighty, after a few little technical difficulties there, they had some issues with their uh, credit card uh, reader. We have secured our hibiscus mint juleps and our pumpkin spice beignets with the uh, got the caramel, caramel coffee yep. dipping sauce. Caramel coffee dipping sauce looks delicious. Let me give this a try here. Well, that's pretty good, especially on a hot summer day. This would be incredibly refreshing. This is really nice. Definitely up there at a uh, like top five mint juleps here at the mint julep bar. Right, give this a try. Yeah, those are good. Those are really good. The the dipping sauce really amps it up. Coffee, yeah. yeah, that really amps it up. I will say though, charging almost a dollar fifty for for that is pretty steep. <laughs> it's it's pretty crazy for like a very tiny uh, portion. I don't know. Alrighty, back in Galaxy's Edge, uh, we have finished up New Orleans Square because. Smuggler's Run only has a 10 minute wait, which means it's a walk on. So we're gonna take advantage of that. Let's see if I can get a perfect score on Smuggler's Run. I really like this section of the queue. Oh, it's very quiet. <laughs> we might be in the middle of something here, but uh, yeah, no, there's so many little details. It's super neat. I always love seeing the different uh, pieces of droids that are kind of scattered around. Like there was a, there was a little leg over there from some droid. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Systems check. Okay, systems United check. Actuators to full. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, this is nice to just totally walk on this ride without having to wait. Is there anybody around the corner? No, we're so far so good. Look at this. Oh, okay, they're right there. Not bad though. It's only like a five minute wait. Today, I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. Por favor. All right, here we go. Jen and I are engineers. One of my favorite spots on this attraction. All right, Jen, you got this. You got this. <laughs> Pilot on the left. Move your stick to fly right. Oh, watch it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Now, this is easy, eh? Left pilot. Oh, no. Hit the boost Now, let's go with that to axiom. Right pilot. Make the jump to light speed. Oh, I've never noticed these before. Oh, we're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. All right, we're still. 100 oh, percent I don't think my harpoon button's working. <laughs> it wasn't lighting up. Oh no! Oh my goodness. How will we ever make it out of this? Okay, okay, we're good. Oh, we're still at 100%. That's nice. Pilots, line up behind the train so we can harpoon that last car. Get behind the train. <laughs> I don't think my button works. Your button works. Pilots, I don't think mine works. Do you see those big white rings? Put your flag. It's okay, we got this. There we go. Well, it's harder than it looks. I'm just going to randomly start pressing things. Your cut minus what you owe me for damaging the Falcon is. Oh, that feels rough. Hey, still got 100%. What'd you get, Jen? You get 100? Cut shot! Yeah, I did get 100. Oh, yes. Okay, damage report. 
Engine failure. All right. Hyperdrive leak. Mm, that is not too good. Multiple hull ruptures. Well, it could be worse. All right, we've made it back to Batu safely. That was fun. I always love going on the attraction with uh, folks that have never done the pilot position before. And it was a really great time. And I always love being the engineer. I always love the interactivity as the engineer. So it's like one of my favorite seats in the house. That was, that was a good ride. That was, that was fun. And with that, I think I'm gonna call it an evening as I'm staring at uh, this beautiful reflection here. Always love the reflections at night. Pointed it out so many times in videos. But look at this on our way out, before I closed it out, we uh, noticed some new teacup merch. Nat had her teacups, look at that. Cereal bowl's cute. Yeah, this is relatively new, right? Yeah, I don't right remember now. this. I this yeah, these are nice. Should we head inside to check She's it out? Cute. Or is yeah. it all behind this like... Yeah, let's, go, let's go inside and check it out. Let's see what's going on in here. How much was that again? $39.99. dollars 99 My question is, That's pretty awesome. is it just a teapot? Oh, it is. It's a real teapot. Oh, wow. Heavy duty tray. And it's a heavy duty tray. And how much is that bad boy? $39.99. Oh, okay. Super I do like cute. that. Yeah, this yeah is, it's uh, real nice. That is glass, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at these cool cups. Mad Hatter tea cups. This one's for $24.99. I love how the characters are not modernized in their like art design. They're like more old school. I love that. That's super cute. Well, I think that's going to do it for today's Disneyland vlog. Definitely a no agenda type video. There was a couple little updates sprinkled in there. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy all these videos. I love making them. I love just coming to the park and having a good time and not really needing to do anything. So uh, that, that's like one of my favorite things about coming to different theme parks and just, yeah, chilling. I love that. So I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did making it. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these Disneyland videos or the updates from Disneyland or some of your other favorite theme parks here in SoCal and all over the place, consider subscribing because I have brand new videos every single week. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave the link down below in the description. Be sure to check that out because I post updates there that I don't normally post here on the channel. And since we were just on the subject of merch, I do have a new theme park obsession Halloween snapback hat available to purchase online. You can head down below in the description head over to themeparkobsession.com. They're available for a very limited time before they go away forever and something new will be out uh, maybe in time for the holidays or sometime the next year. But yeah, new snapback hats are now available for a limited time. So be sure to check it out if you want to pick one up. But other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.